Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 8th of 2023. Well, it is titled Stellar Wind Shaped Nebula RCW 58. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a very massive star at the center. This is what is known as a Wolf Rayet star and are among the hottest and most massive stars that we know. They reached around the limit as to how massive a star can be about 100 times the mass of our sun. It is not physically possible to have larger stars uh, at present because of the laws of physics. Essentially, they will just simply produce too much energy and become unstable and expel material out. They will be pushing material away much harder than gravity can pull it down. So there's an upper limit to how massive a star can be. They're also many times hotter than our own sun, maybe 30 times hotter, meaning that they emit a, emit a lot of ultraviolet radiation and high energy uh, light like that. And that energizes material around it. So even in a case like this, uh, material expelled outward by the star, expelling out its outer layers as it has formed, still pushing those out because so much energy is being produced. So the, uh, these are what we're seeing here and then illuminated by the ultraviolet light of that star. So the ultraviolet light excites the atoms within and causes them to glow, giving off the glows that we see here. Now, this is a star that does not live a very long time. The more massive a star, the faster it goes through its fuel source and will then explode as a supernova. So the most massive stars will do this and they will run through their fuel many times faster than our sun. So for example, while this star is about 100 times the mass of our sun, meaning it would have 100 times more fuel, it will only live a tiny fraction of the 10 billion year lifetime of our sun. So we could expect this to go supernova, but probably not for hundreds of thousands of years, as it still does take a while to use up all that fuel even at the massive rate at which a star like this does. But these are some of the rarest and most massive stars that we get to see. And here we get to see the nebula around it expanding outward, pushed out by the intense energy of this star. So that was our picture of the day for February 8th of 2023. It was titled Stellar Wind Shaped Nebula RCW 58. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class. <laughs>